Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Reviews Help. And today I am going to make a video based on a suggestion from one of our popular reviewers called Elfrin. And as far as things goes, this uh, suggestion comes in from a previous video I made on how to make your browsing experience more safer and fun. Well, better really. And the simple fact is, is they were able to point out something that I now love and use. They point out an application called Gustry, if I mispronounce it, sorry. But um, they point out an application called Gustry. This runs on both Chrome and, and uh, Firefox. This might run on other browsers. Just go to the link below in the description. Check it out. Does it run on your stuff? Did I not say it? Leave it in below in the comment section if it does. If it doesn't, let people know that way they know if they're wasting their time trying to get this on whatever operates or whatever browser that, um, you know, they might use because there's tons of browsers out there. So as far as things goes with Chrome and Firefox, it works. And what does it do to be exact? This protects your information from going out to the wrong people. Now, as far as things goes, they'd have a quick video on this exact, same, exact thing that does as far as a good example. And I highly suggest that you watch it. I'm not really going to go over their video itself because you can go to the link below and watch it. But I'm going to use my own website as an example for what their stuff does. Now, as far as things goes, you might notice here, the ghostry icon says zero, nothing for this, for their website. For mine, it will say quite a few. The reason why is, well, let's look at this. Facebook Connect, uh, right here, Facebook. Google Widget, uh, right here. I think this is the Google Widget. There, it's down here. Um, Gravatar is this icon. Like, literally, I'll show you in a second. That ticking off. Infolinks is the advertisement for my website. And WordPress status is my internal, in my own website, the internal stuff so I can know what you guys look at and therefore I can make better things towards what you're looking for. So let's actually go in and try to turn off Gravatar and reload the page. Now one thing you'll notice is this shows up with that marked off. Nothing much changed trying to get this stupid thing off for a second. And as you see here my picture has gone. That's because that's all that Gravatar does. Turn back on. And as you can see right here, the pictures back up and whatnot. So that's pretty important to note as far as that goes. It just blocks things. So as far as things goes, it prevents third party websites from really interfering with your experience one way or another. This is important to note because uh, as you saw there, sometimes it really takes no effect as far as a neutral effect. Sometimes it's actually very important and that's very important in itself because you don't want your information, certain information going out. Like for example, what you're looking for or what someone might be looking for, which is very important at times. Now, as far as things goes, this is a free application, highly advise it, no reason why you don't have it, and, and um, that's one thing I want to keep in mind. Now, as far as if you got any more suggestions, any suggestions at all, uh, being that, does this work with your stuff? Does it not work with your stuff? What do you like to see in the future? Can you point out anything that you use that hand covered in any of my videos? If you can do something like that, and if I find it interesting enough, I might make a video on it and actually give you a shout out within my video and link your channel within my videos. So therefore it helps you out 
because, well, at the end of the day, you helped me out, so why not? So anyways, if you found this helpful or whatnot, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And hopefully it will help out more people and more people will be able to help you out with search options and, and whatnot. So anyways, this has been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of Tech Fuse and Help, and I hope you have a great day.